Good morning. I'm gonna. Good morning. I'm gonna teach you guys how to create someone floating or flying in the air. I'm gonna create this with Ruby kind of floating in the air. So really quickly, what I did was I actually have a picture of the background and then I have a picture of her flying. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but it's kind of fun and silly and goofy and all that stuff. So. I'll take the background image and drag it into Photoshop. And then I take the image of her flying, drag that into the icon of Photoshop as well. And then what I usually do is I kind of drag it to the side and I use my move tool to drag her on top of the background layer. And I can also kind of change the opacity tool to make it so that I can really make sure that it's completely on top of it. It looks pretty good. Um, I'll bring it back to 100%. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little layer mask. So I'm going to use that little rectangle with a circle on it right there and add that to her layer. Really super simple, you're using the regular paintbrush, the black paint, and you're literally just kind of almost erasing out the thing. I'm also seeing right away that it's a little bit darker, so afterwards, after I'm done, I'm just gonna kind of, um, I might actually change the brightness contrast, whatever. But we're actually working on the floating, so I'm gonna kind of float her above that. So I'm using the black paintbrush again, and I'm kind of floating her. It doesn't really seem to make a difference whether or not it's a little bit darker because you can't really see the background, really see much of a difference, so that's totally fine. Make sure you got the whole thing. So that's really easy peasy for the float. Um, if by any reason I make a mistake, I can go and change it to the white paintbrush and then get that back in there. And then again, the black to kind of use the layer mask to get rid of it. If I'm going to make her invisible, I actually do the same exact kind of concept. I just get rid of her face like that. And then she becomes invisible. So really easy. Invisible is just literally using the layer mask and again, if you need to make it brighter, brighter or darker, you can keep on kind of working this to make it kind of so it's even and it looks normal. So just keep on working on it if you want to. Or you can go to image, go back to the image on top by pressing that, and then go image, adjustment, brightness, contrast, add it, make it a little bit brighter or darker to match, so that looks like that matches really well. So again, I went to Image, Adjustment, Brightness, Contrast, and then I went from there. Anytime you want to go back, just go Edit, Step Backwards, Edit, Step Backwards, and get to where you want to go. So easy. I also made Lucas invisible. Um, you can kind of add a shadow if you want. So the same process before, I kind of did the background image, added him to it um, and then just kind of use the layer mask to get rid of his arms and everything else and I kind of like this too because he kind of has a shadow in it so adds a little bit of something something to it but always make sure too when you have someone is doing the invisible that their arms are not in front of the clothes because that's kind of a hassle to play around with so good luck have fun thanks so much